Greetings. This is an update number six for the Revit Peace Tower Paper Clock. That's how much I haven't made any progress on this, and you'll see why in a second. Uh, the original escapement, the mechanism that drives the pendulum and and coordinates the clock's time, the original escapement is a gravity style escapement, which worked, but it, uh, it's not very efficient. You get three ticks per revolution. Not good enough. So I took this out, and I've been trying some other escapements that are much slower so that I could get more time out of the clock. Because if you use the original escapement and you want the clock to run 24 hours in between winding, then you have to hang it 60 feet in the air. It's not good enough. So I duplicated this escapement from my James Rudolph clock. And this worked fine in the James Rudolph clock, but it doesn't work here, and I don't remember why, because it was like 14 escapements ago. So next I tried a pinwheel escapement. It looks simple enough to make, so I did. I cut out a wheel with my scroll saw and drilled holes in it and used these wooden dowel rods that I got from the arts and crafts section at Walmart. And these are pretty cool because they're just a hair larger than the axles that actually come with a kit. So if I mess up an axle or need an additional one, I can use these. But anyway, I cut some up and I used pins, made pins to make the pinwheel. And it's, a, it's good in theory, but it's really scaled down too small. Uh, to make a pinwheel escapement, it really needs to be larger than this. And that's the main problem that I'm up against here, is that the amount of space that I have inside this clock for an escapement is not very big. So I can't really make an escape wheel any bigger than this. So my precision has to be perfect. And it's just not. I'm not good. If you look at these pins, they're like this one right here. This one's, as you can see, it's further in than the rest. They're not evenly spaced. They're not evenly radiused. It's, it's a mess. I did it by hand in like 30 minutes, so I don't know what I was expecting, but this doesn't work. So, next I tried, I searched around the internet until I found somebody who had designed and cut out and had operating a deadbeat Graham style escapement out of wood and had the plans available in SketchUp. So I got the plans, downloaded them. Of course they don't fit in this clock, so I have to scale them down. That's where most of the problems come in. So here we go. This is wood that I I printed it out. Oh, I got the plans, scaled them down, printed it out, and then cut it on my scroll saw. And if I get this working, I will post the plans under the link, under this description, because, I mean, if you're building one of these clocks and you want it to run, you might want these changes that I'm making but the problem I'm having with this that I just found out I thought the problem was with the anchor or the verge I guess they call it I'm gonna keep calling it an anchor uh, this verge didn't work this verge didn't work this verge didn't work either and guess what neither did this one so I've got all these verges here that I'm trying and testing, and I've drilled the hole and covered it up and drilled it again in the clock to move it around. It's a pain to adjust it up and down because there's no adjustment. I have to just get the hole right. Um, and then I just figured out the problem is with this. These teeth are not evenly spaced, not in relationship to the adjacent teeth, but in relationship to the teeth that are seven or eight spaces away, which is roughly the size of the verge. Okay, so if I take this and measure the teeth, two teeth, it's not the same as these two teeth. This wheel isn't, isn't right. It isn't uh, accurate enough. It isn't precise enough. And I think that's because I scaled it down for one, and I'm cutting it by hand out of a scroll saw for two. So this isn't going to work. So what I'm going to do is, I've got some cardboard here. I've got paper plates because it's thick, it's not very waxy. Um, I tried a cereal box, but the wax on one side made it warp real bad, like a potato chip. So this one's not going to work. I'm going to try paper plate. I'm thinking they won't warp as bad. So I'm going to glue several of these together to make some thickness and then glue a paper print out of the gear on top of it, cut it out, 
and try again. <sighs> we'll see how far that gets us. If this doesn't work, my next test is I've got a buddy with a 3D printer. It's cheating. I hate it. It's cheating. But, you know, I want this to work. So, it, I'm going to ask him to 3D print the model of the escapement, escapement and verge so that I can test it and see if it'll even work at this size. Taking all of my human inaccuracies out of the equation. But hopefully we won't get there because I'm hoping this will work. Got a lot of time in this clock. I'm wondering if I should just go back to the to the gravity escapement that came with the clock and add a bunch more gears off the bottom to slow down the weight because that's so far that's the only one that's worked for any amount of time but it's just so loud and inefficient and unnecessary for a clock like this Wish me luck.